Hey guys, JZNES here. <laughs> hey guys. Anyway, I want to show off my uh, living decks here. Uh, well, it was still on my 3DS, just uh, for myself and and for you guys. If you know, I've talked about it for years and years now on the on the channel and backwise, and I just never got a chance to really show it off. But uh, I kind of wanted to uh, you know just show it for old time's sake because I think. Uh, I think I've made the decision that I'm going to finally switch it over to the uh, to the Switch there, no pun intended, which is a really sad thing for me because that means that this entire journey that I've been uh, cult cultivating here uh, for all those years no longer lives on the system that I kind of did a bulk of that um, of that journey on. You know, uh, the whole point was to get to the 3DS games. And then eventually get it for I guess when the switch would would uh, update that. But there's just something sad about uh, kind of getting rid of this and and putting it onto the new console. But I I finally made my decision because I think I know that if I don't do it, then what's going to happen is in time, uh, Pokemon Bank will go away, and then all of these Pokemon will be gone anyway. So. I figured it's probably time. Uh, I need a few of these Pokemon for my uh, for my Sword and Shield, the the DLC, uh, the, the the Sword DLC or whatnot. Uh, mainly like Blissey and a few other Pokemon that I've started a box for. But I figured, oh, you know, I might just transfer everything, and and so I wanted to kind of show it off before uh, before I did that because it's definitely a moment, and it's uh, it's been quite a journey. Uh, through 2016 and whatnot. They don't have little photos of them unless you like really go in there and look or whatever, but you can kind of see Chamin. Uh, I just kind of want to go through each of them. I named... Why did I name him Zan? I thought the Charizard was Zan. Anyway, I think this is my uh, shiny Charizard. Can you see that on here? Or no? No, you can't. I'm pretty sure that's the shiny. Uh, Actually, it's not. There's a different one that's the shiny, but like... That's the other thing. I don't want to lose all my shinies and whatever, but it just feels a little sacrilegious to kind of take my shinies and uh, and put them onto another system. Um, I mean, a lot of these Pokemon are from like a lot of the older games, and uh, I don't know about the badges and whatnot. Does that carry over? Does it still show that they're from the older games? Like, uh, I sure hope it does, because there'd be a lot of history lost there if, if it didn't. I mean, I still know. Like, I know this is my Pikachu from, uh, I believe, Fire Red or something like that. Um, that's funny. I named him Boomy, because that's what I named, uh, sort of named my, uh, my, uh, Rillaboom, so, which is interesting. But, yeah, it's kind of a, it's a big moment in history. I just kind of wanted to go through and show off that I did indeed have a living dex here. Uh, I've never been able to really record this in any good fashion. This is actually not a terrible setup. If I could get, if I could like sit back and do this, this would be like a decent way to capture uh, 3DS footage. I think. Uh, too bad I'm not like really interested in doing that anymore. I mean, I might still do something like that for like when I'm showing off like the Dragon Quest games in the future or something, but. Uh, that was always really what I wanted to get a capture card for, was to kind of show it off like this. But this looks better than, like, most of the capture cards that I've had. It's a little off, but, you know, it's fine. It, it looks pretty decent. I mean, obviously you couldn't show, like, the 3D effect or anything. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of going through all the Pokemon right now. It's going to take a minute, so get comfortable. Oh, Applejack, like, the, the pony. Um... I don't know. I I've, there there was all these little references to things. Um, just kind of wanted to quickly show it off. It's gonna take a while to get through all of them, but I wanted to show that I had it for myself or for whoever wants to watch, uh, because it means a lot to me. The whole journey was really a big point for me. It's what got me back into the series, and I'm really glad I got back into the series. Not to ruin my thoughts on the DLC, but uh, it's been it's been really fun. Um, in the wild area is just like so magical the new one it's like what it should have just been to begin with and it has it has me thinking that um ah, like nurse joy um it has me thinking that potentially in the future 
um, maybe we could get an open world Pokemon game, which is what I've always wanted. Uh, ever since I saw the wild area, you know, I, I thought of that concept. Well, I mean, I've wanted that for a long time, but it just makes, it gives me hope that maybe, you know, because that's kind of what the DLC is. You'll see I'm missing a Pokemon at the end cap here. Uh, wow, this is, uh, pretty sure this is from one of the older games. Don't, don't cat. No, don't jump up here. Not yet. From the Johto region. This is from my, uh, Heart Gold playthrough, actually. So, interesting, interesting. Ness, like, uh, you know, Nessie, like the, the Loch Ness monster, whatever that's from. Also from Johto, so, definitely from Heart Gold. A lot of these are from Heart Gold, especially these earlier ones. Cloud. Oh, yeah, I remember Cloud. Actually... Yeah, also in the Johto region. I knew it. That's cool. I named a lot of uh, my Eevee's Cloud. I, I did it on the uh, the the let's the let's play there. The uh, not the let's play the um, what you call it the um, the Nuzlocke there is what I named it. So it's kind of a reference to that, I guess. Tiamat, yeah, nice. Got my Mewtwo there. Got Mew. The other thing is all these legendary, uh, mythical Pokemon. It's going to be interesting. Uh, I guess I'll never really have a full Dex until I walk 3,000 miles or whatever to get, uh, friggin... Oh, yeah. I named him after King K. Roll. Uh, friggin Mel Melmetal or, or Meltan. Mel Metal? Is that the second one? I have Meltan and I have Melmetal, though. I named that Satoshi after, um... Because that was like, you know, his whole big thing. Satoshi was, uh, you know, one of the founders or uh, creators of Pokemon or whatever. And that was his whole thing. They had, uh, I guess it was later on, but I had one named uh, Marinette. Uh, not a not a Ledian, but that would be pretty apropos because, I mean, Ledian's basically Ladybug. So this is what I need, actually, Igglybuff for the new thing. Uh, I'm sure I could just breed down for it, but, um, I don't know. I don't know about the incense. Can you get the incense in the new game? I'm sure that's how you're supposed to do it, and I'm sure it's a lot easier than making it, but I just thought I'd try and get some of my extras out of here. I mean, these aren't extras. These are obviously, like, the full, the decks here. You know, this is the real shit, so, um, yeah. But it's pretty cool. There's a lot of little references to the Nuzlocke in here and stuff. Um, I named a lot of the Pokemon similar stuff. I just have a random unknown here. But I do have an unknown Dex somewhere. Um, I'm not sure where that's at. It's, I think it's on one of the way later pages. I know I'm only on page 7. This this could take a minute. This really could take a minute. Actually, I should get some Pokemon music going or something here. That would be pretty good. Um... Yeah, got all them. Let's see, probably Gen 2, eh? Oh, fuck. Shit. Here, I'll just like scroll through them as we go. Uh, I don't know why I named that one Tamashi after Tamashi Roka. No clue. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude, what that's is a what's going fucking... on here? I don't even know what that was. Um... Yeah, you get the idea. Let's keep going here. Uh, okay. Sorry, give me a second here. Take a nice look there. You can you can watch me type this in. Uh, Pokemon. Uh, gold. Let's say. O S T. Oh yeah. Oh, not extended. We don't need the extended version. I'm watching myself use my phone. <laughs> okay. OST. Let's do it. Let's get that going. This is going to be some good shit right there. Oh, that's loud shit, but it's good. Alright, some good background music there. Uh, appropriate for where we're at in the, uh, and the uh, the thing here, 
God, yeah, I mean, gold and silver are just some of my favorite games. Uh, not really silver. I've never really gotten too far into that one. Santa. But gold is, like, one of my all-time favorite games. Porygon 2 is another one I definitely need. Um, I have some extra Porygons. You can breed Porygon. Oh, Van Gogh. I like that. I spelled Go, kind of like Pokemon Go. It's funny. I forgot I can do that, too. I can just, um... Got a mill tank. I had a million mill tanks. Of course, I had to breed for the shiny, so... The legendary dogs, as I call them. If people call them the legendary cats, it's kind of odd. But that's a thing. Yeah, usually the ones that are in here aren't the ones that um, are like the ones that I like used. Those are usually later on because they like mean more to me, you know, kind of thing. So, oops, god dang it, so easy to do that. But <laughs> I don't know why he's named that, but okay. Some of these have really random names. Like that. I don't know why it's named that. I'm sure there was a reason, but... Dash, like... Oh, yeah, from... from uh, Or Flash. Dash and Flash. What did they name the little one? I didn't name it. I thought there was maybe a third one, but... Is it Dash is right from... From uh, from Zootopia? Or was it Flash? I don't remember. I have, I have it named for both of them, though. It's funny. You definitely tell it's from 2016. Oh yeah, this is uh, cause um, t Hamashi t Hamashi Hiroka, Hamashi Hiroka's uh, favorite Pokemon or whatever she said was either Meowth or Skitty, and so I named my Skitty Mimi after her cat uh, that she had in her videos or whatnot, and and then so I just thought that was kind of a. A good reference there. That's another one I need is Carvana because I have Sharpedo. I could just friggin' breed it. I know. So. But. I don't know. I just figured. Might as well bring up all these guys. You know. See like that's just a Flygon. It's not my shiny Flygon or whatever. Which is way better. Um. Maybe I'll do a thing where I show off like my shinies in, in a. You know. HD form when, when we get to um, the sword and shield stuff there. But I just kind of want to show this stuff off because, you know, it means a lot to me. My whole journey. Cute. I don't know why I named him cute. He's not that cute. He's kind of ugly, actually. Some of these are from um, older, like, random games, too. Like, I had to buy all of the games to go through the journey for the most part. So a lot of these I would just get on random games, and so they're not really my nicknames, and you can't change nicknames for the most part. Um, so, yeah. So, a lot of them are just kind of random. But some, some of them are my nicknames for them, and it's pretty obvious which ones are and which ones aren't. Uh, it's, even to me, though, it's kind of not obvious all the time. But... Oh, yeah, I tear it. Okay. And now we're into Gen 4, which is, um, they're, they're fine. Uh, they're at least not Gen 5 Pokemon, which Game Freak has such a obsession with nowadays. Um, I think the top screen's the most important, right? There's not much going on down there. That's probably what I need to see is the top screen there. That would be the only problem with playing, like, a, like a 3DS game this way, um, is, like, I would need to, like, do this and then it'd be a little diluted. I could catch some good Zelda footage probably this way, though. Sparks, okay. I think Sparks was an important one. Um, for whatever reason, let's see. It was from the Sinnoh region. Yes, this was actually one of the Pokemon that I used in my Sinnoh region uh, run-throughs. So, that's pretty cool. That's that's an, a real OG right there. I mean, I think, like, the way this is, these most of these are the Pokemon that, like, I caught. Because I did... A full living dex every generation. So I call this Jiggy and Jiggy Prime because it's like Banjo Kazooie. They look like the Jiggies. Um, so yeah, so like most of these are 420 because that's what Pokemon. Oh wait, it's not 
420. It was 420, and now it's 421 because I evolved it, but you know. Which is unfortunate. I probably should have not evolved it and just kept that one as 420. Um, yeah. I love Miss Magius. That's a, that's a cool Pokemon. I think this might be one that I actually use, too. I'm in, in the Johto region. Now, usually the ones I use, I, I, uh, I nickname, though. So... Uh, Vegas Jr. named after the Tamashi Eroka live stream uh, of like red and blue. There's Vegas and there was her Mr. Mime and then so I called mine Vegas Jr. Which I thought was interesting. I was right around when I was playing Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Uh, just Heart Gold mainly but let's see. It even probably says yep from the Johto region. Oh, not that one. Um, there it is. From the uh, Sinnoh region, but I used it in my Johto run, so it's kind of thing. Which is pretty cool. Carney. <laughs> Carney the Carnivine. Very nice. Got. Yeah, just a bunch of, like some of these like licky licky, I could just evolve, just like a pain in the ass, um, egg, <laughs> nice. So, so I, yeah, I probably need Porygon Z as well. Topaz, yeah, R Junior, I wonder what that's about. Pulse Man, nice, good little Game Freak reference there, alright. Palkia. Oh yeah, by the way, I was in one of the Pokemon videos, I was trying to think of this name, which is Giratina. I think that was the uh, Sword and Shield review, and I was watching it more recently, and I um, I was like, I, I had the same thing, and then I like yelled at the screen, I'm like, it's Giratina! <laughs> so, it's pretty funny. Now we're into the Gen 5, which is like the worst generation of Pokemon, uh, Pokemon-wise. I mean, the, the game's... Are probably still the weakest games as well, yeah. But the, the the Pokemon are just like not not as cool as the other generations, in my opinion. There's some okay ones, but like these two are pretty good. The the Muna and, and Musharna, those are pretty good. I like those. Pretty much every um the, the yeah the the zebra one is pretty cool. I like that. Zip Striker especially is pretty neat. There's some alright ones, I'll admit it, but they're just not as creative. These are pretty alright. Um, of course, Gen 5 holds one of my favorite Pokemon, but we'll get to that when we get there. So, And I don't think my, uh, my version of it is in here from Gen 6. Uh, I know it is, but it's definitely later on. Uh, Maractus, one of my favorites. Um, that's the one I'm talking about, so let's see. Yeah, I met it in the Unova region. This might actually be my Maractus from my actual Gen 5 run, which would be even more crazy, but hard to tell at this point, you know. So I guess, realistically, at the end of the day, I don't necessarily remember which everyone... You know, this looks like... Yeah, these are kind of a lot like the Animal Crossing thing now that I'm thinking about it. Like that one's just like a random trait I must have got at some point or something, so. Uh, yeah. Like none of these Pokemon really stand out that much. I actually wasted a Master Ball on this in, in uh, Sword and Shield. <laughs> just pretty funny. That Deerling's okay. I like the seasonal gimmick. This thing's really annoying in the new DLC. I don't know how to catch it, so I'm just going to transfer it up. This thing should be related to Love Disc, but it's not. Like, none of these are... I know, I'm just keep going on about it, but none of these are that interesting. These three are pretty good. I like those. Um, other than that, though, like, there's, there's like... There's like 20 or... Tops, 20 tops good Pokemon from this generation. Like, really well thought out and, like, 
not resembling any of the other Pokemon. These are pretty good, I guess. You can go back and count and see which ones I thought were actually good. Um, the legendaries are fine, I guess, if you want to count those. But see, like, when you get back to Gen 6, like, damn, as soon as we get into this, it's like, that's awesome. I love Chespin. I love the Chespin line. I love the Fennekin line. I love, uh, not the Froakie line. I think he's overrated as fuck. Um, but just, like, everything's more interesting. This, the Fletchinger, or Fletching Link, Ling line, the Talonflame line, I'm gonna call it, is awesome. Even the Vivian thing was pretty cool, how you, like, uh, like you have regional differences the lit leo was great for baby is all right you know like pretty good stuff pancham and uh pangoro which is this is my actual one from gen 6 um this is banana here met in the Kalos region oh good times good times i definitely had that one on my team for a long long time Esper and Meow Stick. This is actually my also me my Meow Stick from Gen 6. Oh my god. I love my Meow Stick. Like these Pokemon are so much more unique. Wait a second. Oh, fuck me in the ass. Look at this. Look at this. No! No! Wait. Wait, does this have a second evolution? That's probably it. I probably just need to evolve this. So I don't technically have a full living this, but I probably have this guy somewhere else too, but... Oh my god. I, I think there is a second form. Uh, I was gonna say, damn it, I, I'm one space off! Uh, yeah, so, little little mistake there, I guess I need to evolve that, but... Somehow I got all of it to work because, um, it registered every Pokemon in, uh, every subsequent game after... Gen 6, so, like, all the Gen 7 and the remakes and whatever. Actually, I need these two Pokemon as well. And this thing. I don't know where you get that in the new DLC. I forgot those were Gen 6 as well. I just got those in the new DLC. Oh, God. Amora. Yes! And Tessie, who was my Amora. This is also one that I used in my Gen 6 run. Oh, my God. Love, love, love Amora. That's when I fell in love with Amora was that one. Um, Sylveon's pretty cool. Need more uh, more of those evolutions. So Goo and then Goo, who might have been for my Gen 6 run? I'm not sure. Maybe. It certainly seems like one I would have used. Because I do like that line. This is, uh, I don't know. I don't know if the sprites show, I don't think they show as shiny. That's potentially, no, because I evolved my shiny. I think it's like level 100 now or something, but I caught these. Yeah, I nicknamed those. Um, oh yeah, my Xerneas. I love Xerneas. Is this the shiny one? Pretty sure it is. Is there a way to tell? I don't know. Just by the color, maybe? Deontay and Hoopa. You got that Volcanian and the Rowlet line's pretty good. Lit line's pretty cool. Uh, this line's not that great, but the ending one kind of surprised us all. I don't know if I like it better or worse than the Inteleon line. Inteleon's not very good, but the rest are um, pretty alright. Like the first one's great. Sobble's pretty good. I like, uh, yeah, this is, this is my original, um, one of these, I remember that, which, I met in the Alola region, I probably should have just seen if all my teams were here, this is my original, um, also of this, I named him Yan after the, uh, Tomba, you know, the character, so, it's pretty cool. This is also Chloe, who is a Life is Strange reference, because she is a stoner, which is funny, because the thing's made out of rock, or it's rock related, I don't know, anyways. Blue's like a Proto Man, which is pretty cool, and my classic game reference is down at this point, I guess. That's what I named all my Pokemon, were just like classic game references. 
Did I use this one? I don't remember. It wouldn't have made a lot of sense since mine was, uh, you know, I had the fire starter. Beware. Yeah. Turtonator, the bane of my existence in uh, Gen 8. The, uh, the, the, yeah, this line is pretty cool. I like a lot. Actually, this is the one I used, I think, in, in a little while, yeah. I mean, I don't know where else I would have used it, but I'm just showing it off because it's, like, one that I remember using. Got all these guys, of course. Man, there's so many legendaries in Gen, um, Gen, uh, Gen 8 there. There's Gen 7 there. So many legendaries. And there's the mythicals. Of course. God, there's so many legendaries. So many fucking legendaries. Oh yeah, I did get that guy. Cool. And then there's a raid thing for him. Now these are actually my shinies. Let's see if they show up as shiny. They do not. But that is definitely a shiny. Trust me. This is also a shiny. This is also a shiny. Or no, that's not a shiny. Sorry. These are just random. That's a shiny. Pretty sure. Let's go back, actually. Um... Yeah, this is one I definitely used a lot. Let's see. Ooh, there's there's a Noi bat that I had. I don't know where I got that or what the purpose of that one was. Oh my god, it's Cal. So I met this guy. This is legitimately one of the oldest Pokemon that I have. Um, fuck. Here, let's see if I can't. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, but then the sound's going to be off. Oh my god fucking back's killing me doing this though all right this is legitimately one of my oldest um pokemon um basically because this is legitimately from one of the gen 3 games and i transferred this guy all the way up it's one of my favorites and this is why Sceptile is one of my favorites is because i chose him at this point or whatnot um which is pretty cool um definitely love good old cal here and uh, he's uh, one of my favorites. This is a Maractus that I used, I think. Oh, this is my original Maractus, actually, from uh, Gen 5. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a comfortable little angle here. <sighs> i got to wrap this up because it's, like, getting on me here. All right, so we got that Maractus. That is just a Ho-Oh I got from somewhere, a Zygarde. This is a mill tank I used, I think, in the Gen 4 games. Often lost in thought. Cool. Um, that one is from Gen 3. I remember using this all the way back in Gen 3, yeah. I this one. Okay, this must have been um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So these are some of the like special Pokemon here. That's a Nine Tails that I used in Gen 5? Okay. So I guess that probably wasn't my BB-8. <laughs> I don't know why I named it that, but okay. Um, I don't remember if this was any special lantern here. This is Flygon. I must have used. Okay. Hey, kitty. My cat's behind me. Okay, Echo. Oh yeah, this is uh. This might be actually the, uh, the shiny Noivern. I'm not sure. Oh, fuck. There goes my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's, yeah. Alright. Um. Shit. Why is this, like, doing that? It stays still, for fuck's sake. Uh, there we go. Alright. Uh, Midnight. Yeah, these are... Like a lot of ones I used at some point. That is definitely my shiny Maractus, and I know that because I named it Violet because of that. Midnight might actually be the shiny. Um... Yeah, that would make sense. These are all Kalos. Okay, these are all Kalos Pokemon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. These are all Kalos Pokemon because I hatched them all in the Kalos. These are all shinies right here. Yeah, yeah. All right. 
Perfect. Not that one, but like from here on, these are all shinies. These are my shiny team that he used in um, the uh, that I like built up for the longest time, and I used these in um, the uh, the remakes, the Gen three remakes, the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Yeah. This one actually is a shiny, but I just it randomly was on my uh, Omega Ruby game, so that was really cool. Um, and then from here on, they're not shinies anymore. These are just some other random Pokemon. Okay, so th that was a particularly special page. We won't have to go through all of them like that. Th the rest of these are just like, I don't know, they're, they're Pokemon. You know, I don't really have to show them all off. These are just kind of eight pages of extras or whatever. So I'll just kind of go through them little by little. This is part of what I was going to transfer up. Yeah. I don't know, I just kind of want to show off my living decks because uh, it may never be in this forum ever again once I transfer it up to the 3DS there. A bunch of extra legendaries and stuff. I'm not even sure if half of these are real. I know there was some hacked ones or something. Yeah, I have a bunch of extra of these. I don't know how I got all these, actually. I'm pretty sure these were all in that Omega Ruby, or not that Omega Ruby, the, the Sun and Moon game, the, the second one that I got, I think, or some of them were, at least. So that's cool. Looking at this, though, I don't know where the fuck my Unknown Dex is, actually. I'm not even sure if that's in here. Just kind of pisses me off, because, uh... You know, like, that's kind of hard to do. I thought for sure it was fucking here. This is when I was grinding Vulpix. I still haven't gotten rid of all the clones or whatever. God, wish I could get rid of all these. That's for damn sure. Oh my god, look how many fucking pages there are. Okay, this is my other transfer page. Or this was, actually. What's this? I don't know what this is. Some of the ones I want to transfer... There's not much to say about all of the rest of these is extras and stuff. Kind of cool, though. Bunch of extras. I don't know where the fuck all my unknowns went. Maybe I lost those in one of the old games or something. I'm pretty sure I transferred everything up, though. I know I had a full unknown dex at one point. I did that. Okay, and we're back. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of show that off. Um before I transferred it up and whatnot. Maybe I'll, like, look into, um... Ah, uh, fuck. Like, some of my old games at some point or something. I don't even know how long this video was, but I just wanted to kind of show that off. It really wasn't for anybody except for myself, really, just to kind of see the old Pokemon and kind of ruminate about them a little bit and whatnot. So, hopefully that was cool. Um, if not, whatever. So, Jay-Z, NES, saying... Keep it classic, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Jay-Z out. I have to physically, like, pick up this mouse over.